Hey guys, it's David. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, today we have a treat for you. We have a comparison of two rides. Both of these are the 2020 BMWs. But one is significantly different than the other. And I want to show you guys uh, a lot of those differences uh, between just the looks of the car, the performance and everything. Uh, but here, uh, the black one is a 2020 BMW X3 30i with the M Sport package. So, and it's all black, as you can see. Uh, we had actually blacked out, so everything is black. The grills, uh, we did the wheels, um, and we did the top rails, and we also did the uh, tail lights. So, and side mirrors are black. So, pretty much everything is blacked out on this ride here. And then we have the white one. 2020 which we just got in uh, but it is a x3m competition so uh, <laughs> it is a beast it's a beast uh, and uh, we have a lot of plans for that and I wanted to get a quick video or a quick comparison video between the two because both these rides are fixing to change dramatically so meaning this is my wife's car and it's going, uh, we're trading it in actually, we're selling it. Um, and, uh, and then I just got this one to replace um, my Tesla for those of you who guys have been following along the channel. And guess what, we have lights, we have lights. So you'll hopefully see that better uh, throughout this video. Uh, so uh, we, I had them on in the previous video or had them installed, but this is the first time I actually had any lights on. So. Uh, so we're trying to correct all the light um, in the camera has, has been a uh, been a challenge. So bear with me. I'll get the settings right. But, but anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to start kind of front to back, show you guys what the differences are. Interior, there's some major differences. For, so anybody that's looking at a X3, I'm just comparing X3s. Uh, you can see. Um, from the physical appearance to uh, the interior and of course the performance of the ride uh, and, and kind of see which one you like the best but just overall specs I mean this is going to be a lighter car it's just a little over 4,000 pounds I believe um, this is just a 2 liter 248 horsepower um, where <laughs> we have the high performance competition uh, it's a 3 liter 503 horsepower um, major differences in power, major differences. And, and when I drove this, I thought, this is pretty nice. You know, put Sport Plus mode, it's, it gets you down the road. And it does, it rides really good. It's an all-wheel drive, it's the, you know, it's the X drive. But it's not like that. <laughs> and I'll do some startup tests for you guys too, so you can just see, just startup alone, you know we're dealing with two different engines. <laughs> so without further ado, let's do uh, some quick comparisons of the fronts. Um, the sides are pretty much the same, but we'll do a little bit of differences uh, going back through the vehicle, uh, the rear of the vehicle, the startup, interiors, and uh, let you guys be the judge. But I want to show you guys two 2020s side by side and do a quick comparison. So here we go. Hi right, guys, so as you can see, this is the 2020, uh, this is just the X3, and on the front, see we have the Headlights where you got the circle going around with the halos on both sides, you know, on, the, on both the lights. So that's what the, this one looks like. Um, it's quite a bit different than the one over there, which I'll show you guys in a second. This one actually has fog lights right here um, underneath this area. And then the vent here is a, it's not a vent, these are fake. Um, now there is a real vent here that you can push your fingers through uh, for the radiator, uh, but this is not real. These are not real. Um, these are fake. It's just solid. Um, these are just little ribs that make it look like <laughs> there's vents, but there's no vents whatsoever. So um, fog lights, you look at the headlights here, um, what they look like, and then you know no vents here. So now let's uh, take a look at the uh, 
X3M competition. All right, so here's the X3M competition. Major differences, <laughs> major differences. So, so you see here, they're not circles. They're the uh, different LED lights uh, where both sets are on, or the other one just one side was on. Um, so if I really like the kind of the shape of these, let me see that, yeah. See how they don't go all the way around, they just kind of stop. That just looks so cool. Uh, big difference between it and the other one. And then this vent is a true vent. There's actual holes here in the grill, in the kidney grills going to um, uh, for the radiator. And then it actually has a front camera right here, which is super nice. Um, not to mention Tesla, but my Tesla was really nice when I would pull into this garage. I knew exactly how far things were in front of me so I could pull all the way up to the cabinet. I can do the same exact thing with this car. This one does not have that, um, but this one does. So this one actually has a lot more sensors around the vehicle uh, than I thought. It has a lot of sensors through the bumper, camera here, uh, the 360 camera, cameras on the back. So really like that on this car. Um, as we get all further, there's another big vent right here for the radiator. Similar to that one, but it's but but it is different. And then over here, it's a, it's actually it truly is a vent. Uh, we're on the 30 with no vent; it was solid. Now right here, there's no fog light. So for whatever reason, they took off the fog lights and didn't do fog lights for the X3M. Um, but there is fog lights on the 30, but no fog lights here. But yet you you actually do have active grills all through the kidney and underneath whole different set of headlights on these LEDs uh, and of course they both have the um, side uh, lighting uh, or adaptive lighting when you turn so but of course we have the X3M competition or X3M badge right here um, that you get so uh, let's move down further and uh, We'll look at the tires and the side uh, mirrors. So let's check those out. All right. So on the uh, X30, we have just 18 inch tires. And uh, like I said, we had these blacked out or powder coated um, when we got the car. And then if we scroll back a little further, we have a fake vent right here. Um, does nothing, there's, there's no air that can flow from the brakes or from the wheel well area. So this is a, a fake vent here. And then if you look here at the side mirrors, they're just a regular rounded off mirror. Um, nothing too fancy about it. Of course they do fold in and out, but they are not uh, any kind of crazy shape or, or anything like that. So let's take you to the X3M. So on the X3M, 21 inch tires. 18s, 21s. <laughs> Whole different ball game when it com comes to these. And then we have the huge calipers uh, that come stock on the uh, XVM, and these are the um, blue calipers um, on big drilled rotors or discs. So, uh, huge difference between these two. That one doesn't have drilled disc. Uh, brakes this one does and um, as we go further along then we have this x3m deal here and it is just a piece of plastic so it is no active vents that's solid in there so no uh no actual functionality it's just x3m kind of cool badge right there but if you look right here um these are really cool so the side mirrors see it has this long edge here that kind of comes in right here which is super nice so these look completely different than these over here it has the same line for your blinker but on here there's no camera and no crazy shape on here there is a cool crazy shape right here and then there's a camera on the side right here so again guys lots more cameras and visibility on the X3M so far. So let's pull this in and uh, take a look at the back.
I guess, or the back of the car. So you can see, uh, get a camera here, and then we have a single tip exhaust in the back. And um, like I said, we blacked off the tail lights. No telling what's back here. But if you can see inside of her, you know, lots of storage space, but she has the um, run flat tires, so she has a flat deck, um, so there's actually no spare inside of that. So where the X3M uh, does not have the run flat tires, so you'll see a raised deck over there. So let's do a startup test and uh, see what this sounds like on the X30. Uh, So we've got the back of the X3M. Obviously we have the X3M competition badging. That's the big one. Uh, tail lights are not frosted yet or blacked out. But we also have these other light fields on here, which uh, we're going to uh, do something with that when we wrap the vehicle. But just for the comparison, more sensors in the back. And we have this bottom grill thing um, that goes in between the quad exhaust. So there's... <laughs> A pair of exhausts on each side, and this is stock. So, which I plan to change this out at some point. To I'm not sure what brand I'm I'm looking at, but uh, but uh, let's open this bad boy up. It opens just like the other one, and a very similar back end. But as you can see, this area right here is raised because there is a spare inside of this. So, lots of storage. Um, these have the fold down seats where you hit this button here or this button here and the seats come rolling down. So nice cool feature. So let's do a startup test to compare with the X30. Alright guys, so I'm in the uh, X30 and uh, I'll take you on the interior and uh, show you show you around now Don't judge on how dirty the car is um, It was kind of a it's my wife's car and I didn't really want to um, Go clean or detail <laughs> so uh, But just show you guys what the dash looks like. So let me turn this camera around. Okay, so here's the dash Let me start it up so you can see what it looks like when it's on Got the miles per hour on the left. Not too exciting. Got the M in the middle, just showing it's an M Sport. And then the uh, middle console. Entertainment center. Get the CD. Now, here's one big thing to note. Check out this gear shift. As you see when we go in the M, it's completely different. When I want to switch this into reverse, I have to push the button and you can go all the way forward like that. And then park is the park button right there. And then the drive, pull back, uh, hit the button and pull back. And we're in drive. Park. And then over here, you have your sport. Comfort Eco Pro. Uh, so I guess this doesn't, have, this doesn't even have Sport Plus. Uh, it does. It has Sport Individual. You just keep hitting Sport button. So it's Sport, Sport Plus, Sport Individual. So there we go. And here is the backup sensor and camera. And then there's the doors, just plain solid black on the interior and then as you can see on the steering wheel we just have your basic buttons here you know uh, cruise set resume and then up and up and down with the uh, speed 
you do have your steering wheel heater right there other controls for your media and your phone there and then we do have heated seats right here so no ventilated seats in this car just heated so and then we'll look over here at the door it just says x that's it just x and then we gotta say here's the door frames and let me get out so you can see the uh, black seats. So there's the black seats there. Nice seats. They get the blue stitching. And they only have the blue stitching because it's the M Sport package. Otherwise, we even plain. See, right down here, you actually have the an M uh, little plate there for M Sport. Got the M step down over there. So it is a nice ride for sure, but again, we'll we'll show you differences uh, on the other one. So let's go get the uh, X3M. All right, guys. So now we're on the uh, X3M, and you'll see some you'll see some major differences. <laughs> major differences. Uh, so uh, let me turn this camera around and uh, and show you guys. Okay, so we get in this ride. Uh, it does some cool things with the dash, so I'm gonna open the door. And this automatically comes up. Pretty cool. Way different. Welcome to me right there. Pretty different than the other one. The dash looks completely different. Let's start her up. Quite a bit louder, <laughs> but as you look at the doors, uh, this is one of the reasons why I bought this car. The interior is just incredible. It's got the Harman Kardon um, B and O system. Um, um, well, I say B and O. Uh, it's got the yeah Bowers and Wilkins system uh, with the Harman Kardon speakers. So sounds really really good. But let's see the two tone. Oh my gosh! You got the you got the nice uh, carbon fiber, you know, presets for your uh, seating profiles. But this the two tone look. Love this color. But the dash, very similar to the other one. There we go. Now we change some settings and kind of see a little better. So now we have the full dash system. And. Uh, you know, it looks really, really nice. Very similar to the other one, but this one has heated and cooled seats. Sweet! The other one is not. And if you look down here, you probably can't see. There's even a badge that says X3M Competition. Um, let's see here if I can get some light on the subject. So you guys can see that. There we go. A little sticker down there. X3M competition. <laughs> Pretty cool. So now look at this gear shift. It looks quite a bit different. So we got all these functions on it. So you can up the RPMs up and down here where you want your shift points to start at, uh, which is cool. Um, this one you have to go over and up, over and up is reverse, and then pull down in the middle, uh, and tap it once to regular drive, or tap it again to the right, put it in the manual, you can do your paddle shifters on the steering wheel, and of course this one, as you can see here guys, these are your special buttons right here, this is why you, this is where you know it's a M, uh, because you got the M1, M2, so you can set these up. Um, to do whatever you want. Um, I have it set up so it goes right, it pulls up the different uh, heads up display to um, the RPMs automatically when you press this button. Pretty much puts it in race mode, puts it into extreme 
uh, M performance mode. So it's super awesome. So you just want to do a quick play around. There you go. Just hit the button, confirm. Or if you want to take it right back to standard, you can press this button. That's what I programmed it to do. Just to go, go just to go back to efficient. Um, then of course it has next to it like the other one, but it has your um, three different areas that you can choose. So this one, this top button, is for your mode. So you have efficient, and then you have sport, sport plus, and then you also have your comfort modes. And then you have sport. This is your suspension. So you can adjust your suspension right there. And then your steering. You can adjust your steering right there. So comfort, sport, sport plus. So and you go right up to set menu right there. Um, so this has a few more features. A few more buttons with the exhaust. All that kind of stuff right here. Um, like I say, a lot more performance features because it is a performance model. But just the look of the car. Look at that. Oh my gosh. The, the two-tone. The seats. <laughs> Man, the seats are incredible. This, like I said, this is the reason why I bought the car, besides the performance, obviously. Um, but yeah, the heated and cooled seats is super nice. The uh, There's so many adjustments in these seats. So look at that. And the, oh yeah, this M. Uh, the M lights up, that logo, at night. Now, it doesn't light up when you're driving, just when you turn the car on and off and get in and out and stuff like that. But it is sweet. It looks super cool at night. I'll have to get some good shots for you guys. But, uh, yeah, this two-tone is incredible. So, a lot of fun to drive. A lot of fun. All right, so now here's the me not sitting in it so you can see what it looks like. It's, BMW outdoes themselves when, with these seats on, on the M competition. Holy cow. And I, I can say, guys, I didn't want solid black. I wanted this color because... I've got a wrap that's going to be unbelievable that's going on this bad boy next week. And you guys will see that as soon as I get it out. And uh, can't wait for what that looks like. Let's look at, the, let's look at the back seat as well. Look at that, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright guys, so there you have it. Two of the 220 model BMWs, X30, X3M competition. Which one would you choose? <laughs> now again, you know, there's definitely a price difference uh, between the two vehicles. And, um, but as far as for me, and just the interior quality, the, just the, I love the sound of the engine. This is a stock exhaust. I plan to put some different performance exhaust on there at some point. Uh, right now I'm just working on the looks, but just comparing the two, just overall ride. Uh, now this has been, you can see it's actually been lowered. Uh, we have some performance springs on it. It's lowered at around an inch and a half or so. So it's got a great stance to it. Um, it's got some um, spacers uh, on the wheel. So we're going to get those powder coated gloss black uh, with a whole bunch of other stuff coming. So stay tuned guys because we have some really, really cool things coming on this ride starting next week. I'm sure it'll take, be in the shop for a couple of weeks, but we'll have other videos that we're working on. But, uh, but yeah, so tell me what guys, what you think uh, between the two rides, which one would you choose? Uh, and again, I understand. <laughs> they are uh, two different cars, two, I mean, two totally different cars, let's be honest. Because this is your everyday average, I want a nice car to drive around. That's it right there, the X30i. X Drive, M Sport package. It's got great, great looks, and then it's, it's still got a lot of pickup and go. 248 horsepower, but all-wheel drive, um, and it gets much better gas mileage. Much better gas mileage. <laughs> this not so hot, you know. Uh, somewhere in 11 to 19 range, depending uh, on some variables. So, <laughs> but again, they're both twin turbo, but you have a you know two liter, three liter. 240 horse, 503. Kind of a big difference. <laughs> so anyway, hope you guys like the video. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, leave them in the section down below. Um, love these lights. Tell me guys what you think about the lights. Um, what else do you think we should do uh, to the garage? Because we have a lot more things I'm working on with the detail stuff. I'm working on that wall over there. Uh, getting it all, all tape mud textured. So it looks, it's got some nicks and stuff from the old sign that was up there uh, before. I got a new custom sign over there. And then I think I'm gonna have a custom 
uh, really cool detail shelf made to hold all my chemicals that are used to detail the cars. Um, so it's all in one spot and it's out of the cabinet. So anyway guys, hope you guys have a great day and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.